a few days ago was on a beach watching the sea take away my son's ashes. Oh, and I thought Steve was being so, so strong. <laughs> I even thought maybe he was hiding his own grief just so that he could support me. And now I know, now I know the truth. I thought we were coping with a, with a shared tragedy. It, it, it wasn't shared, was it? Because I was on my own. I was totally on my own because he was nowhere near as devastated as I was. Because he had a spare, didn't he? He had a backup baby. Oh. No, that's not true. Oh, he's the father of your child. Leon, how can it not be true? You saw him. You saw his face when he held Oliver. You telling me when I was going through the most painful experience of my entire life that he didn't once think about his second child. I don't know what you're going through, Steve said. But I do know that he loves you. No, he doesn't love me. If he loved me, he wouldn't have slept with you. Look, I can't regret that night because it gave me my son, but I do regret all the lies. I thought you were my friend. Look, I know you must hate me, and you have got every right to. But Stevie, he loves you, and everything he did, he lied. But it was, it was to protect you and to protect his marriage. And that was the most precious thing to him. Before and after you were pregnant. Yeah. Do you know what we were talking about this morning? We were talking about trying again for a baby. <laughs> Don't give up on Steve. I talked myself out. Because I still love my Rory. <laughs> and it kills me every day that he's not here. And that pain is the only thing I have left of him. <laughs> you lost Rory. You'll lose Steve.